important to keep in mind that humans are special. No other creature really cares about consonants and dissonance. It's important to keep in mind that the things we prefer are, we prefer them because we're human. And there, there's nothing in the sound itself that other animals, other species would prefer. I, mean, I, I would be a contrarian here in, the, in that it could have been learned very, very early. But, but we don't know for sure that in it's hardwired. In the womb, for example. <laughs> in utero? And how would that happen? I mean, just, just through exposures? Uh, well, the, 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 part, the, the thing that's difficult about doing experiments in physics or in neuroscience is controlling all the variables. Yeah. And the developing fetus, by the age of 12 weeks, the auditory system is fully functional. And it can hear sound through the amniotic fluid. It sounds like what it would, what music sounds like if you put your ears under the bathtub. You get mostly low frequency information, but that's enough to track chord progressions and bass notes. So just born infants have already had months of mm -hmm. exposure.